Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to lesson number 18 of Five Minutes with Luke. I pray that your Wednesday is going well. Thank you for your interest in studying the Word of God. As I mentioned early on, this study began as a, an effort, uh, since we weren't able to be together, the Boonville Church of Christ is doing several things to promote a study of the Word of God, and I began this in hopes that I could continue a study that I began with my Sunday morning teenage class. I am thankful that you're taking advantage of this opportunity, and I invite you to go back from the beginning as we began in Luke 13, and we're looking, of course, at the parable of the fig tree in verse 6. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. He came seeking fruit. That led us to an understanding of the spiritual application that the God of heaven is a seeking God. And from there, we went to Galatians 5, uh, verse 22 and 23. If God is looking into my life, looking for fruit, spiritual fruit, fruits of righteousness, does he find them? And we have found ourselves now studying all the way down in uh, Galatians 5 to verse 23, to the eighth of nine fruits of the Spirit mentioned there. The fruit of the Spirit is meekness. And we'll come back to Titus 2, 3 in just a second. But if God looks into my life, does he find the spiritual fruit of meekness? Now, I want to ask you this. What does the word meekness mean to you? If a person is meek, what does that mean? Well, I looked up the word meekness in the dictionary, and there were three definitions given. Number one, meekness is the condition of being humbly patient or docile as under provocation from others. De uh, definition two, overly submissive or tame. And then definition three, interestingly enough, had the word obsolete, meaning we don't use it anymore, gentle or kind. So when I understand that definition, in our society, meekness, many, many times, more often than not, has the idea of someone who cowers down, someone who backs away from, someone who is easily uh, uh, tamed, who is docile. And many, many, if not most of the time, the idea of being meek is not a good thing. I've heard the phrase, or considered a good thing, I've heard the phrase, meekness is weakness. But I want you to understand, my friends, when I go to Galatians 5, and I understand that God is looking for the fruit of the Spirit, meekness in my life, and here in Titus 3, the same word. Notice he says, but showing all meekness. We'll come back to that. I want you to think, I want you to understand the definition. The definition in the Greek is far, far, far different from what it means to us normally. This word in Galatians 5, 23 and in Titus 2, 3 uh, that is translated meekness in the King James, it means an inward grace of the soul, acceptance of God's dealings with us, considering them as good in that they, that is the dealings, enhance the closeness of our relationship with him. Now, wait a minute. Do you understand what he's, what, what's happening here? The, the, what the, the word meekness that God used in the Bible, that the King James Version of the Bible translated meekness into English, that word in the Greek been a condition of your heart where you were at peace with God's dealings with you because you understand that God deals with you out of his love and that causes you uh, to understand to you understand that those dealings make you a better person, make your relationship with God better. Now think of that for a moment as a condition of my character. When I deal with other people, when I uh, approach my daily life, my under, if I have meekness, then the understanding is that I understand God has dealt with me in a way to make me a better child, a better uh, servant of his. And that's the way I approach my everyday life. That's the, way I, that's the way I approach my dealings with other people. Now, I want us to look at one more passage. Let's go back for a minute to Titus 2.3. This is the King James Version uh, of your English Bible. To speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, to be gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. The idea of meekness. 
Now, I want you to read that in the English Standard Version. To speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show, what's that? See that underlined part? Perfect courtesy toward all men. That understanding of meekness, as we read uh, in some English Bibles, that doesn't mean weakness. That doesn't mean uh, cowering down and being docile, but it means that I treat others with the same love and kindness with which God has treated me. Does the fruit of meekness grow on the tree of your heart? I hope it does. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.